If you like vintage decor, if you like mid-century modern, if you have an appreciation for the wabi-sabi lifestyle, maybe you're trying to incorporate different time periods into your design style, which I think is a great way to add some interest. Well, I have a fun video for you, so let's dive right in. Hello, I hope you're having an awesome Sunday or whatever day of the week you're watching this. I typically upload on Sundays and sometimes throughout the week. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jorge and on this channel, I like to do a lot of home decor content, DIYs, um, thrifting, vintage videos, styling videos, some room makeovers, more coming, I promise. But if that's something you're into, hit that subscribe button. Today, I have a very large, very fun haul of thrifted vintage pieces that I have found that I think are awesome, maybe things that you should look out for. I also tried to include links to similar pieces, but before I do that, I actually, many of you have been asking what my design style is, that you really like it. Thank you so much. I don't have like a clean, simple answer. What I will say is that I love a lot. And basically I like, like many of you, really bringing in a lot of vintage style pieces, pieces that maybe have a story that are maybe more unique, things like that. At the same time, I also like newer, more modern pieces that I don't know, I think are fun. And so I'm just like trying to find a way to like bring them all together in a really, really elegant way, so to say. I am more on the minimalist, so I like to keep things just very simple. So I don't have like a, an exact word, maybe some might say transitional, but I actually want to share with you really quickly some accounts that I think maybe you should follow on Instagram, some designers, um, some that I've been following for some time, some that are newer to me that I kind of just like look at for inspiration. Now I look for inspiration all over the place. Um, actually outside of the design um, world. I look for inspiration, nature and things like that. Maybe you know of some of these, um, maybe you don't. The first one is, and then we'll go on with the haul, I promise. Take a look at Lisa Stanton Design based out in the Seattle area. And I really like, her style is maybe more like a traditional, uh, again, traditional bringing in sort of newer items with older styles, maybe sort of bringing that traditional modern in a really awesome way. Love her style. Bates Mossy Architects, based out in New York. Um, been following them for some time now. I really love their design style. Um, even though like they're more architecture, they do like interiors as well. And what I love about when um, architects do interiors, a lot of them are more on the minimal side but I really like their use of materiality and bringing in sort of that consciousness with the building as a whole. And also take a look at Adam Jordan architecture, uh, another architect that I really love. I love the use of materiality, M more on like the modern style, like modern style, um, but not too like modern, not the sterile modern, which I know exists. Um, it's not for me, but I know a lot of people like that. Another one is Marianne Jacobson. Marianne Jacobson, um, photographer, stylist, based out of, I don't know where, I think somewhere in Europe. But I really love the way that she sort of brings things together and kind of creates these awesome vignettes. Love her photography. Jake Arnold, you probably know him. He has an amazing um, firm, beautiful, beautiful designs all over the place. I really love his use of, again, materials. Brings in a lot of like vintage antique pieces, awesome vessels, beautiful furniture, um, and kind of gives me wabi-sabi vibes. And then another one is Kristen Rodin. Kristen Rodin, interior stylist based in Sweden. What I really love about her is more on the minimalist side, kind of brings in sort of there's a feeling of sort of elegance in her um, spaces that I really, really love. Together, collectively, all of those um, designers, I really look for inspiration among others that I, I, can't, I cannot name, name all of them, but I feel like following um, designers that kind of goes well with your design style, I think is a great way so that when you go to find pieces, whether they're new or when you're going thrift shopping, secondhand shopping, vintage shopping. I know that oftentimes like you don't really have control of what you're going to find. Believe me, when I go um, thrift shopping, sometimes I don't find anything. Some days it's like 
all of the thrift goods aligned and I'm just buying a lot. Well, today I wanted to share with you the pieces that I have found. But again, when I'm looking for these pieces, I'm thinking about sort of what is it something, what is it the vibe that I'm going for in my home? What is something that also sort of speaks to me, that interests me? Um, and so I'm sorry, I'm like rambling. So let me just jump into the hall and then we'll keep talking, all right? The first piece that I have right here is, oh, this looks like very orangey on the camera. Um, it's also sunset, so the lighting's gonna get kind of weird here, but that's all right, we'll work with it. This right here is sort of like, maybe it's a pot, ceramic. Um, I really like the style of it. It has like a handle, a lid. I was trying to find what it is online. Comment down below, let me know if you know what it is, but I think it's kind of, I think I found it's like a bean pot. Not exactly sure. Probably I'm using this for decor. Really like this. This is definitely not as um, orangey light colored as you see on camera. This is definitely more darker than it appears, but I really like this piece. Another piece that I found is this fluted vase. Um, kind of like a mercury color. Really nice. Um, put some florals. Now I'm gonna try to myself. I really love the way it dances in the light. I'm gonna try to link in the description similar items that I have found to these or try my best at least. I might not be able to, we'll see. Just check on the description box if you want to maybe pick something up like this. The next piece that I found is this um, really awesome vase. I love the, like, the shape of it. This kind of reminds me of like a Mexican pottery. Uh, made out of barro. Um, not exactly sure what the source of this is. I can't find like a mark or anything, maker's mark. Um, but I really like this. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been showing this um, um, some of my photos over there. Go follow me, casa underscore refined. Um, really like this. I probably would put like maybe a branch on this or nothing at all. Place it on top of some books on a bookshelf. While we're in the subject of pottery, I also found that this right here definitely is darker than when you can see on camera. It looks very like saturated there, but I really like this one too. I was looking online and it might be sort of a spit, spittoon, I think is what they're called, spittoon. I think it's like this old, um, sort of like a vase sort of thing where you like spit your tobacco back in the day. Not exactly sure the origin of this, no maker's mark. Um, but it's quite heavy and I don't know, I really like the style of this. Again, I probably would just leave this as is. Maybe, maybe use it for florals. Hmm, what would you use this for? Would you just leave it as is? Comment down below. One thing that I've been really loving lately are just like Ikebana um, flower arrangements where they use sort of like a floral frog. This piece, I think it's a floral frog. It's like a little vase with some holes at the top where you put the stems of flowers or what, you know, whatever um, greenery you use. I don't know, it's kind of cool, something different um, rather than just putting things on just like a vase. Maybe a couple of like just more minimalistic flowers here and there. I think that is very elegant. If you've been following for some time, you know I have an obsession with candlesticks, candle holders. I can't stop and I won't stop. And I found this right here, probably my favorite find to the state with candlesticks. And look at this, it's like this like loop um, steel, I think is what it's made out of. I was looking online and I found, I think this is made, is made by Black and Blum. Um, I they, I think they still sell some. You can find a black ones maybe online. I couldn't really find any black ones in stock. I found sort of like a copper one, which I will link in the description. Um, maybe you can spray paint it black if you want it black, I'm not sure. But I really like this and I pair it with these candlesticks that I found, or candles that I found, um, actually thrifted too, which I've been wanting to buy some of these. I was gonna order them online, but I found these, so I cut these. I will link these um, similar ones that I found on Etsy, um, but I think a really fun candle like this is a really nice way to sort of just, you know, have some fun with your candle holders. Now, I love having fun with wall art, and I found these vintage frames right here. Hopefully you can see these like oval, they're kind of small, well, the size of my head. Not that small, but I really like these. They're actually made out of plastic, which I don't really mind. You can't really tell once you put them up on the wall, 
Not the biggest fan of the art, cute little birds, but I might DIY some art or maybe purchase some like digital art and print that, I'm not sure. Um, but I really like these frames. I think they could look nice stacked on top of each other, maybe like off center, you know, have fun. Also found this very heavy uh, vase vessel. It's very, I like the design of it. It kind of has like a green undertone to it, a little bit of brown. Very nice. Oh, it's getting a little dark outside, I better hurry. So I also have been finding some, or I've been looking for black vases. This is one that I found here. This one right here, I think they go nicely together. I think this one's ceramic. This one, from what I can tell, I feel like it's glass, like black glass. Um, and I don't know, I like the style of it, the silhouette of these two pair well together. I also found this mid-century style lamp. The, like the silhouette of this again. It's a brass color tone, um, but it's not like the shiny polished brass. It kind of feels like like an oil rubbed brass. I don't know if that's a thing. Maybe you can see here on camera, hopefully. I like this one, it's heavy. I actually didn't know how to turn it on. I plugged it in, put some light bulbs in there and it wouldn't like, there was no button. Turns out you're gonna have to just like touch it like anywhere in the metal part and it turns on. Um, I didn't know that was a thing with lamps, and I think every lamp should be like that now. Very fun. Okay, more candlesticks. I know, I know. Um, I actually saw some very similar on Amazon that I really liked, and I saw these actually at the store, so I had to grab these. Set of three. Each one is, um, they're different heights. And I actually really like this. I still need to clean these. Many of you have asked how like I cleaned the wax off of that. Um, I might include, I probably might include that in the video at, here at the end, or maybe I'll make like a YouTube short or something like that. Um, stay tuned, but really like these candle holders. Also picked up this wood tray right here. It looks very orangey on camera, but it's not. Um, it has sort of these like four carved in sections. Maybe it might've been intended for food. Not exactly sure, but I think this could be nice on a counter to put like, um, I don't know, things, jewelry, watches. I don't know. I don't know. This could, or this bite just for decor purposes too. Very nice. Like this. Last but not least, I actually found this stool. I'll put it, I'll put a photo so you can actually see it better. Um, I think, well, this one's actually gonna be for like a thrift flip project. Can you guess what it is? Let me know what you think I'm gonna do with this. Um, but stay tuned in a future video. I'm gonna do a really cool, hopefully cool, we'll see, um, uh, thrift flip that I think is something that you might be into. But I think that does it for today's. Why is the ice cream truck passing at 8 p.m.? All right, so that does it for today's video. Thanks for tuning into this mess. Have fun with thrifting. You never know what you're gonna find. I found some really awesome treasures, but I'm gonna put a playlist of other thrifting videos that I have done, some thrift with me content there too. But thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Let me know if you have a favorite item. I'm just curious to know, or if you have any other thoughts of things that I've said in the video. But again, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and I will catch you next time. Bye.